Hello, Sim Racers. James here. Now, the purpose of this video is to test the Norse life on ACC, basically with no DLSS, with the DLSS that version that Kunos provided us, versus another version, a later version of DLSS, version 3.7. Now, Kunos provided version 2.215 with the ACC installation, but there is another uh, update you can make to that. Uh, so, uh, supposed to be some performance gains and uh, visual gains as well with the updated. DLL file, so I'll share how we actually update that in the installation of ACC. So what I've basically done is I've set up a AI race with 50 cars, and these are the settings that uh, I have, guys. So I'm on triple screens, tri 332 inch screens. You see here 7680 by 1440. I've set the frame rate limit to 165, which is my monitor maximum refresh rate. Uh, resolution scaling is 100%. The view distance and shadows and you can see the settings there guys so we've got a mixture of epic and high settings okay now the important parts for this video the opponent visibility is set to 30 see i've got 60 frames per second for the mirror there high resolution for the mirror as well a mixture of epic and high settings uh, dlss is switched off for the purpose of this test that i'm going to do now but i'll rerun the test with uh, dlss switched on the kunos version of dlss version 2.215 and then rerun the test with version 3.70 to see what uh, if any gains for minimum maximum and average frame rate we can uh, see okay so these are the settings that i'm going to run guys and then just rerun the same test then i'll share the uh, frame rate so let's get this uh, race started i did run Stay double file. a single player one for the first ever race on this track recently in a previous video, so I know I can cheese turn one of the GP circuits, so I'll, I'll do that and I'll make sure to do the same in the uh, DLSS on test as well for both versions of the DLSS. So if I just uh, turn the frame rate software on to reach the bridge, so there we go. Capturing the uh, frame rate with some software, guys. So you've know, seen the screen flicker there, but uh, that's a full screen again. So I can see the, uh, I've got the NVIDIA overlay as well on my left hand side screen. So on the grid, it was uh, 55 frames per second with 30 cars rendered with those epic and high settings on the triple screens with DLSS switched off, which is a lot less than I'm used to, but uh, there are 50 cars on the grid, so myself included, the maximum you can have a single player. So this is an interesting test there. Uh, I'm on an AMD 7700 CPU. I've had now for a couple of months and I'm a 32 gigabytes of DDR memory, 6000 megahertz. There's no under or over on the CPU or under voltage. Any of that is to stop, so you can see how much we can choose the start of the race, guys, to say the least. Let's just try not to take any damage, I mean, get damage turned off for the purpose of this, uh, we'll call it a benchmark. But, uh, right, so let's try and basically, what I will do is I'll rerun this test, just join, join the North Shore circuit try and ensure that I have, well I will ensure that I have the same number of cars in front of me at that point. So even though I could possibly get to the front of the field, I'll make sure that I don't do so. Count the cars and I'll rerun the same. So be able to be seen mate, we'll start coming through. CWRT being a bit behind me. Yeah, so I'll enter the north side circuit. And I'll pull over. I will uh, then run the same test again, capture the minimum, maximum, and average frame rates. It's uh, performance. I received an uh, only RTX uh, 3080 Ti as well, guys. Let's just try another take one or two more cars. So, hence why it's uh, so quite easy to uh, overtake. So, I'm in, I have 
one, two, three, four. Four cars in front of them in fifth place. So I will pull over short and run the exact same test, ensuring that I'm in P5. So let's just run a little bit further. No, this is not to pop back in by any stretch of imagination, but it's uh, an actual race. But so I'll pull over after the next few corners and then capture the frame rate and then share how to uh, share those frame rates and share how to update the uh, the LSR, the LRS, the LL, so I'll pull over. Just wait for all the cars to go past. So once all the cars have gone past, I've captured the frame rate and I'll share the uh, performance for these guys on the uh, LSS and the updated PLSS as well on the triples and also got the same test on the uh, single screen. 40p, so uh, see you soon. Hello, guys, these are the benchmarks uh, at 7680 by 1440p. So, my three triple screens with the same settings I showed earlier on, mainly epic settings and a couple of uh, high settings. So, the top option is basically the DLSS switched off, the middle is with DLSS. The Kunos version, and then the last bottom option, final, last but not least, is uh, the uh, version 3.70. So you can see the uh, frame rates, guys. We've got the average at the top of the, the LSS switched off 64.482, a minimum of 49, a maximum of 78. And then with the DLSS switched on, the Kunos version, we've got an average of 69.54, so just over five frames per second gained, a maximum of 86, so plus. 8 frames per second delta and then the version 3.70 they've gained about 2.3 frames per second average at a maximum of 89 so uh, mileage may vary on your own setup but uh, apparently it's, uh, this version 3.70 is uh, will give you some uh, performance gains and uh, looks a little bit better than the, uh, the version 2.215 that comes with the ACC uh, and then next I've done the same test uh, here you can see that the performance is very similar to say the least so the top option is with DLSS switched off in 1440p so my one one monitor 2560 uh, by 1440p uh, so here there was no next to no gain to say the least uh, if anything actually the average was actually higher with DLSS switched off but uh, so yeah mileage may vary for yourself so uh, if you want to try it though Basically, what you need to do is download the version 3.70 of the DLL file from this Tech Power Up uh, download page. So you can see, I'll put this in the video description. It's techpowerup.com/download/nvidia-dlss-dll. Uh, if you scroll down the page, you'll see on April the 4th there's version 3.70. So basically, if you download this to your computer, once you've done that, what you want to basically do is take this this file name. This is in your download folder now. You see, I've already replaced this. So basically, if I do properties and details, this version 3700, 37, 3.7, you want to put this in the uh, installation folder for a set of course of competition. So you can see the folder path. Again, I'll put this in the video description. So you've got the AC2, plugins, DLSS, binaries, third party, Win64 folder, and place, replace the file that's there when AC, ACC is closed. And then uh, see if you gain some uh, performance. But uh, before you replace it, I would suggest that you do back it up first. If you go to this folder first, and copy, and then paste it somewhere else, or just in the same folder, it'll create a file called copy off. Then just replace the downloaded file from Tech Power Up in, in this folder. Uh, should see some, uh, maybe some slightly more, it might be slightly more aesthetically pleasing if you're using DLSS, and you might gain some frames per second as well, be it uh, maximum average. So. Uh, Hopefully that helps you out. See you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Take care. Bye.